Hi guys and welcome to Journey to Journeyman episode number 26. And in this episode I'm going to use my South Bend lathe over here and some pop can aluminum to fix my Craftsman weed whacker. If you want to see that, stick around. That right there has to come off. Now this metal shaft spins inside of a plastic housing and I didn't know it at the time but it had absolutely rubbed the plastic and melted it onto it. It didn't take much machining to get it clean and now I'm just polishing the shaft up to just make it nice like it was in the first place. Now this is the start of the first of two pieces. Now I'm actually kind of doing some engineering on the fly. This first diameter that you see me make is the part that's a, the first outer diameter that has to fit down into the plastic part. But then when I make the inner diameter, it has to fit that shaft that you just saw me clean up. And now that I see that the first part of the first part is done, now I start working on the first part of the second part. And there are a couple of diameters here, um, both outer and inner, that I have to machine. Now this just has to be a loose fit on this outer diameter and it fits just like I want it. And now that I have the inner diameter, time to work on the first outer diameter. And now that it fits the dimension that I want, I have to see if it really fits, and it does. And now I have to just square off that uh, shoulder and the outer diameter, and then we'll part it off and get it to size. Now I have never been able to part off using the parting tool. So, will this be the first day? Let's take a look. Hey, so far so good. And then disaster struck. Not a big deal. Now to my normal parting off tool. Now this thickness really I don't have a dimension for. I just know I need it to be very thin. And quite frankly, guys, this turned out exactly like I wanted it. And now that I see that this second part is going to work, it's back to the second part of the first part. Now you're going to see me machine away the very first diameter that I made. But quite frankly, that was just a test piece to see if the 
uh, aluminum was the right size, and to find out what size hole I needed to use for the plastic. Now I can just get rid of that and make the real piece. Now there are two diameters I'm gonna make. One is gonna be about a half inch in there and that's gonna fit over that other piece of aluminum. And then the other, the longest one that goes all the way through will fit the very first part, that, uh, that steel shaft, that will slide through the middle of it. So this aluminum will connect to the other piece of aluminum and then that steel shaft will run up in the middle of it. Now this outer diameter has to go down through this piece of plastic. And now it's just cut and test and cut and test. Ta-da! Now I just got to see about how much needs to come off so that, that that first diameter will slide over the other piece of aluminum. Now this is the fit that I'm looking for so that uh, I'm going to use some Loctite on that to glue it together. Quick heads up, Loctite didn't work. I had to use JB Weld. And once again, the parting off tool. Okay, so that's what that looks like there. Feels solid. And it's JB welded in place. Well, quick lessons learned on this one. I learned that I can machine uh, thin pieces of aluminum on here. And if you use a little bit of ingenuity and a lathe or two, you can uh, fix some of the broken things around your house. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you on the next Journey to Journeyman.